Hello, welcome to Bread and Bagel Bag Rag Rug. Okay, we're going to be making a rag rug out of bread and bagel bags. So um, it's going to be, we're going to be making with plastic yarn or plarn. This is made with a different color bagel bag. And um, I just finished taping uh, bread and bagel bag plastic yarn or plarn tutorial. Some people are calling it Plorn, so you can view that one. It shows you how to make it in one long strip and how to connect the bags together. I have a little technique that helps to make it a little easier, so you might want to view that as well. And then I want to also show you one other thing that you may want to view as well. This is a um, runner rag rug of many colors. This one is just getting taped as well. This is the exact same um, pattern is the one I'm going to be teaching you. So if you change it up and use sheets in different colors, you can make an entirely different rug if you'd like to view that one as well. So let's go ahead and get into the one we're making right now and we're going to be working on this one. So here's the one we're going to be making. You can see how pretty this is. We'll put that to the side and get you started. So first thing to get started, we always use good tools and uh, I'm using the 10 millimeter crochet hook or an N. A good pair of scissors, make sure they're nice and sharp, that's always very important. Um, and then when you finish it, you're going to use a tapestry needle. It has a nice big hole, eye on it, um, and that was just a t-shirt yarn, so if you use t-shirt yarn for another rug, and I do that as well, um, that shows you how. So you can go ahead and um, use that to finish it. When you finish it, you could go to Caribbean Breeze Rag Rug. It's the very similar rug. It would be finished the same way. And on um, part three, it would show you how to finish this rug. So let's go ahead and get started with the making of it. Here we have our plarn. We're going to find the end. We're going to pretend this is sheet yarn or any other kind of yarn. We're going to cross over with our material. With the long end, I push it through. We're making a slip knot. And here you go. I'm going to do that one more time. I usually do it twice because I try to gear this towards the beginner. I cross over with the longer end. The longer end gets pushed through the bottom and I pull it through. Okay. I leave a long enough tail. That's probably a little bit excessive this time, but we're going to go ahead and go with it. Um, but I do, do wear, leave it uh, quite a bit longer. You're going to take your crochet hook your 10 millimeter or your end, you're going to put it in with the short end, I leave that kind of in my hand and behind me, and we're going to do chain stitches. We're going to do approximately 40 for the same size we did before. This can be done, well, you take the material or the plastic yarn, you cross over and pull it through. Don't do it too tight. Cross over and pull it through. Cross over and pull it through. Pull it through. Cross over and pull it through. I'm going to go slow. Cross over and pull it through. You can do this rug any length you want. There is no exact number. I'm going for approximately 40 because that's what the other one was. That's probably 6 or 7, 8, See how quickly you can get this going. Bear with me just a little bit and then I have some other ones we can skip to to help you. You see how it was joined right there and I just kept right on going? Cross over and pull it through. Let's do two more and we'll call that 40. Whether it is or not won't matter in this particular instance. You get the idea. Okay, you pull it through. We're going to show you how you're going to turn it. You had your material like kind of like this. You had your plastic yarn. You're going to now, you always move from right to left. Okay. So make sure it's flat across there. You don't go into the hole that you were in. There would be the hole. There's the hole right there. You're going to go into the next hole. So 
So you're going to go into the hole, grab your material, and you're going to do a single crochet. This is plastic yarn. You grab it, pull it through. You have two pieces, one, two. You cross over and pull them both through. Going to go to the next hole. See, here's the next hole right here. Going to go in, grab your material. You have two pieces, one, two. Cross over again and pull both of those off. I have this on slow motion. Um, single crochet uh, for rag rug making. It's on my channel. If you'd like to see that one, it's in slower motion. You go into the next hole, cross over and pull it through, and pull it off. Okay, so that's how you start the second row. Okay, there's the beginning of the second row. We're going to switch over, so acting like we got to the end of that row. Mr. Cameron, you can probably stay right where you were. Okay, so we ended right here, where you just saw we were about right here. We've continued to do this whole second row, and now we're almost to the end, and I'm going to show you how to go up to the next row, and all the rest of the rows will be done this way. I'm going to show you here, and I have another example that I'm going to show you as well of exactly the same thing on another rug, so you get to see it more than once. So again, you're just continuing to go into the hole, grab your material, You've got two there, cross over and pull them both through. You're seeing now I'm kind of using my other hand, I tend to do that. Put that into the next hole, grab your plastic yarn, you have two, cross over and pull them both off. This is a wonder bag, finishing up of a wonder roll bag. Okay. Here's your next hole right here, go into it, cross over, you have two, and pull them both off. Mr. Cameron, do you feel like you're getting that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Now we're going to, here's your last hole. Kind of look like a little bit of a mess. You're going to go into that last hole. We're switching up. You're going to pull them both off. This is what you do different, and all the rest of them, when you switch from one to the next, you're going to do it the same way. So watch, it, watch it, Mr. Cameron. Actually, that's not the last hole. We got one more. Go into this last hole. That's the only thing about this plastic yarn. It sometimes sticks. There we go. Grab your material, pull it through, and pull them both off. Okay. So you see that even someone who makes them all the time sometimes makes a mistake. So now we're going to, this is how we transition up. You finished your single crochet row. You're going to do a chain stitch, which is just cross over, don't go into a hole, pull it off, and you have one sing, single chain stitch. Then you're going to flip your material again, and you're going to be working from right to left. Sometimes I like to take this out and start see if it gets twisted. Okay. So now you're going to go in right here. Into your hole. And you're going to grab your material and go back to making single crochets. There's two on there. Cross over and pull them both off. Now this one is going to be a little hard to see because of where we attached it. And what I tend to do when I have this is I will kind of feed it through in different locations and get rid of the, the if, it, if it's a messy kind of attachment there and it is a little bit there. See, here's where the hole is, right there. See where that hole is? Here's this attached place, and I don't like that. So I'm going to kind of push that through, and then I'm going to push my needle through with it, my hook, and it kind of will disappear. So you push it through, grab your material. Now you have your two cross over and pull them both off. And see, that's not perfect, but it does hide it. And what it seems like it's kind of messy there, but I assure you, when you get the whole thing together, your eye will not be drawn. There's so many varying colors here, you're not going to notice that. 
So let's go ahead and go back into this hole. Mr. Cameraman, go back into this hole, the next hole, just the same as we did on the other one, and you're going to continue. I'm going to switch in just one moment to one more and show you. There you go. See how we're now? It's starting to form. We're going to switch to one more rug that's farther along, and we'll show you how to do that again. This is a different grouping of colors, so this is interesting. And I'm just going to move quickly here. You can see all the different colored material that I've used. The same technique is being done. Go in, pull them both off. Again, here's where they've attached. I don't like that. So I'm going to push it through that hole with me, grab my material, And there we go. Get to the end here in just one moment. And I will show you one more time how to step up to the next row. You're going to do that chain stitch again, flip it. When I was trying to learn how to do these rugs, I would go to a lot of videos and people would show it once or extremely quick. They'd only show it once and then I would find myself rewinding and rewinding and feeling frustrated. And if that one view wasn't a good view, and we're just all YouTubers, or not all YouTubers, many YouTubers like myself are just individuals trying to help other people learn things. So we don't always get it the first view. We don't always get the filming exactly correct. So if you do it more than once, you have a better chance of seeing what you need to see. Okay, so we're getting towards the end. We're going to go in here. This is a good thing for me to show you. Here, see how it's kind of messy? But there is a hole there. So I want you to make sure you get into that hole. You have to almost make it. You cross over and grab your material and pull it through and pull it off, both off. Okay? And now you're going to do one chain stitch. Flip it. and back in. Here's your hole and you're going to just repeat. You can see this is an extremely simplistic pattern. If you go to my channel I have things that are a little bit more sophisticated or, or different than this but this one is very simplistic. Remember you can view the same pattern with runner rag rug of many colors and it's done with sheet yarns. Okay? Remember these make great little mats for outside or a place that there's a lot of water exposure or I have found my cat is absolutely crazy about laying on these rugs. So you may find the same thing. Um, I live in Florida and it's very hot so it gets them off the ground and they like that. So um, maybe because it smells like you too. Alright, thank you for viewing. You have a good day.